Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. In today's episode, we will learn about data binding interpolation. I started the concept of data binding in the last episode. I gave you an overview, written notes of it. Make sure that you have gone through that in order to learn entirely and master Angular 17 interpolation with me. This is part 24 of the series. There are a lot of breaking changes in Angular 17 and hence it, I'll request you please kindly go through these previous episodes in order to have continuity and to learn. I've covered a lot of important topics like standalone components, lazy loading module components, app routing, app module, which are all very important. Today, we are on episode number 24, Interpolation. I covered all of this basic overview and details in the last episode. We will, today, we are focusing on Interpolation. Angular's Interpolation is a one-way data binding technique. One way because I explained in the previous episode, the data flows from component class to the view or to the template, to the HTML. It allows us to embed expressions within double curly braces. Interpolation is a one-way flow from component to the view. Data binding is nothing but dynamic display of data. Whenever there is change in the component, data will automatically be displayed in the UI. We can use expressions as part of inside the double curly brace. All right. So these are all different variations. We can do string concatenation. We can have implicit conversion, it's you can use the safe navigation operator and so on and so forth. Okay, let's do hands on learn all about it. <clears throat> Alright, so we are in the Angular 17 project folder. Let me bring up the notes. So this is what we had written notes in the last um, episode for data binding. Today we are writing interpolation. Alright. Okay, so number one rule, um, interpolation, remember, is a technique, technique written, written in between double curly braces. Okay, so an example is like this. Okay, so you write double open curly brace and then close brace. This you will write in the template inside the template okay uh, remember data flows from component class to template i had explained this in the previous episode you don't want to miss that if you have already all right so from component class to template and data will flow let's go ahead implement that before that let me bring up the editor all right Let's go to terminal and uh, let me bring up the terminal. All right, we are in the app folder here. You can see SRC app. And what we are going to do is first fire up the application, ng serve. In the meanwhile, if you are already enjoying this series, please do show some love by liking and sharing these tutorials with your friends and colleagues. All right, so we are at localhost 4200, nothing crazy, simple loaded the application. All right, so we have implemented a route for add user as part of learning lazy loading component. If you remember, I'll use this as an example. So add user, now you can see it says add lazy loading add user. Go to the component, now we are learning interpolation. Interpolation. Now it, it means data will flow from component to template. So let's say user name is of type string. Let's assign a value and let's call it arc admin. All right. Now what we did, what we have done here is just created a variable by the name username. It is of type string and a value which is arc admin. In JavaScript, we were writing let, const, all that. But since it's a TypeScript, you don't need to do that. Remember, a lot of you make this mistake and have written to me 
that why is it giving error i'm just adding a simple variable by the name const it won't work like that darling so just write the variable name followed by the type followed by the default value that you want to use you can always overwrite this value later in the application so back to interpolation we have a use username variable which is of type string and has a value arc admin in the html let's define a paragraph and double curly brace open double curly brace close so angular knows that i need to map data its interpolation and what is the name of the variable username copy that paste it here that's it this is the most simplest example i can show you you can see here the output is coming directly from the component to the template arc admin now go ahead in the component change this value and say arc tutorials now you see here automatically the view is updated this technique this mechanism is called interpolation because it is one way from component to the view or the template let me now show you some more variations <clears throat> user id you can say number say 10 now here inside this this is one example now you can do string concatenation and you can say user id which is what we defined so now you see it's giving both values arc tutorials and number 10 all right now you can also do checking and say if username is available display username or else show hello world okay so now this is failing correct because username is not defined so what we'll do is we'll say default username so see now it is it is showing default username because this is not defined it seems right but it is right so this condition will not work okay so instead what we can do if username then default right we are showing this which is correct now let me show you a name admin right so now see it is showing admin because it is checking the conditional statement if username is available show admin else show hello world what i will do i will make this null right now see <clears throat> object is possibly null or you can just say empty and it's showing hello world right which means if this is empty if it is null it is undefined this is called a safe operator right basically um, we call it as safe operator which is what checks if it is null checks if it is null empty or undefined okay if it is then conditionally check if username is available if yes show admin if not show hello world here it is showing hello world because we made it empty right now if i assign some value admin from component so see now it is showing admin from component and here we put a condition to show admin so it is showing this is working correctly so what did you learn here interpolation is to display data from component to template you can use string concatenation which is adding plus concatenate two strings together we can also use safe operator and we can do a conditional rendering right the last thing that you should know about interpolation is that it will do the security check okay for injections or etc whatever like cleaning data basically you can say okay so those are the important points that you should know about interpolation okay i hope this is clear because going forward we will do a lot of um, you know um, by escaping escaping html characters entities which is which makes it security okay why is that you can't inject directly some html because it's rendered as a string okay remember that all right so 
any angular application you will see this a lot of things when we start writing code in a, into the project also you will see a lot of these things make sure you understand the concept correctly and start implementing that understand it's one way from component to the template you can use string concatenation you can use safe operator and do many things around it okay that's all you should know about interpolation at this time in the next episode we will continue learning data binding but i'm going to show you variations of property binding i've already covered this as part of the data binding make sure that you go through that to get the high level theoretical knowledge because in the next episode we'll do lots of hands on on property binding i hope you're enjoying the series if you do please do hit that like button share button and subscribe button for me thank you so much see you in the next episode